video is brought to you by Stuffco Transportation. Now hiring Super B Woodchip and Super B Flatbed Class 1 drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. To apply, go to sutco.ca, use promo code QUANFAN, let them know I sent you, and get an extra 100 bucks on your first payday. Don't you dare eat my cookies. And make sure you use my name as a reference when you're applying for the job. And uh, any referral bonuses I get, I will split with you guys. Good morning, peoples. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful peoples of the internet. How are we doing today? I got sleep, so fabulous. Compared fabulous. To... I I'm got... okay. I got sleep for like the last week and a half, not like I got sleep. Eastbound, northbound, east north, northeast. I think it's eastbound, technically. Alright, luckily nobody's in that lane because I need both to make that corner. Let's go! Come up on next first town is what? What's the first town here? Is it Quarter Lane? Or no, Quarter yeah. Lane's further south. Uh, I don't have a map. Right. Um, I should know this. Rum. Rum, 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 rum. Why can't I remember this name? Rathdrum. There we go. Rathdrum. Like you're just drumming away. I knew Rathdrum was drumming. Oh, this is how our morning went. Sunset. Fog, ice fog, more fog. Well, last night we went to bed, we could see stars. Yeah, the moon. Yeah. It was minus five last night. Today morning was minus one. We drove on some slippery roads yesterday. Holy smokes, there were some slippery roads. How I got through that without chaining up is just pure luck. I was using every trick I knew. With extra pressure on my drop axle in the rear to transfer maximum legal weight to the front drives. And then I dropped the air suspension in my drives to make them ride closer to the ground. That moves a little more weight to the drives. Of course, all the lockers up. I was doing every trick, driving on the middle line where a little bit of gravel was still. We made it. And it was black ice, so it was just like out of nowhere. It's like a switch. We went like wet roads, wet roads, wet roads. Oh my goodness, black ice. We 
got a max weight load on this one. I mean max, max weight. Maybe a tiny bit over. I would have to check with the scale. I might be a tiny bit under or a tiny bit over, but I am right at that line. If I am over, it is so little that I would never get a ticket for it. But he's heavy for a U.S. load. So we're going to try to deliver this load today. Depends on who I talk to. We're doing different things tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Called dispatch and I'm like, hey, what does my plan look like? What does my weekend look like? It's like, oh, if you deliver this load, uh, you're going home empty and then you have the rest of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. I think you're back on Tuesday. Like, okay, thank you. And then I called my supervisor a little later on. I'm like, hey, since I'm going back empty, um, you want me to drop the trailer off at Castle Yard and Bobtail home and save Sutton some money? She goes, you're not going home empty. This is the first I've heard of that. I'm like, okay, where am I loading? Oh, we don't know yet. Okay, whatever. I'm going home for a weekend. If they don't plan it, I will plan it. Let's put it that way. Well, then you told him that Custom Cop was going to close. That's the first he's heard of it. Yeah, it's like it's the first he heard that Custom Cop was closed on the Friday. I'm like, that's what the forklift drivers told me. Unless they've uh, changed and uh, decided to work on Friday. Which is doubtful. We know them well enough to know. The company does make changes like that every now and then. If they've made that change, they've made their forklift drivers angry. But eh, we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings. We're gonna hammer down and try to get this delivered and then see what happens. Your dispatch has to deliver this tomorrow, so who knows? I don't care what my dispatch says. If I can deliver it today, that's one less thing to do tomorrow. Exactly. At least it's not black ice now. It's plus 2 degrees Celsius. It is almost 10 a.m. The GPS says I can get to the customer by... 1.08 p.m. We woke up at 6 a.m. So. Yeah, we got up at 6. On duty at 6. So I think they stopped low unloading at 3, so we should, unless they're closing early for New Year and stuff like that, we should be able to deliver this today. And the place has been bought out three different times, three different owners now. And every time it's been purchased, I think in the last five years, it's been three, three different owners. Every time it gets purchased, they lose a whole bunch of their really good um, veteran staff. And by now they have none. It used to be a delivery place that we pulled in and we got unloaded, bought a boom, bought a bang. The yard was nice and organized. Now you pull in there and it sometimes takes hours to get out of there. And it's not organized. It's not organized. They've implemented all these new security rules and just made the place worse, right? People in offices making rules. security gates so that nobody can drive into the yard anymore without <coughs> somebody pressing a button to let them in. But good luck finding that person. And uh, I talked to them and they said they've lost a lot of customers to uh, 
competition because the customers want to pull in right now and load right now and go because they're loading for a con construction project that they have right now. They need that extra bundle of 2 by 4 or an extra bundle of drywall now. So having to wait and find somebody to open the gate, they just, nope, forget this, we'll go to the competition, pay a little extra. Well, the competition is literally down the road a little bit. Yep. Like, it's that it's far. right there. <laughs> so they've gotten a lot less customers thanks to all these new rules. And the reason why they have the gates is to prevent theft. And they're like, we've never had theft in this building. We've never had somebody come in here and steal stuff. It's like at night, the gates are closed. During the day, nobody comes and steals stuff. Because we've never had a theft issue at this location. But they had theft issues in their lower mainland issue. For lower, lower mainland area, they had lots of theft issues. So they went across the board and made every place put up these gates. Yep. One solution doesn't work everywhere. You need to you need to uh, put in policies different at every location. Yeah. Because you have different customers, different demands, different environment, different everything's different. Why would you have the same policies? Like what we had in retail, though, we had certain people in home offices in Ontario. Yeah. Kind of making up what we do here. I was like, no. Oh, by the way, Rathdrum welcomes you. find out something. I like diners. They usually have a good breakfast. A good burger. Normally we turn here. Rarely do we go straight over here and then this road slowly turns north. I think we're actually on Highway 41 now. Luckily, the video we shot yesterday, the camera was useful, but uh, the bonus video we shot, I guess it would be two weeks ago for you guys now. That bonus video doesn't have the ceiling cam because it went into factory reset mode and recorded video in a format that I can't, my laptop doesn't read it. First time, like a different camera, not too long ago, we did it. So, yeah, it's weird how they do that. You know I'm saying it's a beautiful, beautiful white snow here, Wrath Drum area. Although it's melted enough that the trees are all clear of snow. It might be okay. Yeah. 
depends where we're reloading. gorgeous here. Haven't driven this highway in a while. You can see where the snow is falling or something. All the trees up there. Those trees have snow on them, yeah. Maybe they got some fresh snow or maybe the ice fog. It's just uh, horror frost on it. I don't know. Um, more and more of these trees are getting snow on them, so maybe it was less windy here. Uh, or cooler, maybe it stayed cooler here. Temperature has dropped to plus one degree Celsius here, so we may be driving into black ice, yeah, as we go for the north. Should be interesting. So, you saved yourself from going into the ditch yesterday as well. Ooh, that was sketchy. That was sketchy. So I did spin out. So I did spin out yesterday. So if you guys know where the card lock, SO card lock is in Oliver, there's a steep hill leaving that card lock. Either you have to U-turn to avoid that steep hill, U-turn is actually quite hard to do with the trailer in there, or you climb that hill. I'm like, everything still looks pretty wet, so let's go up the hill. I made it to the top of the hill. I'm like, yep, made it, and then spun out. My trailer hadn't made it up the hill yet. My, my truck was up the hill, but my trailer did not. At the top, it was slippery enough that I spun out. So I slowly started backing down, and as I was backing down, all of a sudden, the whole truck just slides sideways into the snowbank. I'm like, no, 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 no. Those are not the words that come out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe those were not the words I used. <laughs> so once we stopped sliding, I cranked the steering wheel over and I'm like, okay, do I try pulling forward or go backwards? And I look and I'm like, I crank, crank the steering wheel all the way over to the right because we were sliding to the left ditch. Let's just very slowly creep back and hopefully the snow that we've slid into is enough traction to turn the truck away from the ditch and not back into the ditch. It's a very shallow ditch if we do, but if we do, we're stuck and we're going to need a tow truck. Yeah. So just very slowly let it creep backwards and sure enough, I had enough grip not to back into the ditch. Back back into the card lock, did the U-turn, which took several tries to get the truck jackknifed enough to make the U-turn. And away we went. And then the rest of the day we it was just black ice. That was the switch. Yeah. That was it just flash froze everything from wet roads to frozen from all over all the way down to Spokane. Just ice, ice, ice everywhere. I kept spinning my tires every little hill as I kept spinning, spinning, spinning. We made it without chaining up. Of course, oh, I did spin out. But. The whole reason you went that way to the car lot was in this DEF. DEF is on, on the driver's side and the pump. To do it, we have to go that way. Maybe next time I'll just come down the hill if it's a slippery road and then see if I can drag that the uh, hose along around the island. Yeah. 
maybe the hose might be long enough to drag around the island. But it didn't want to work for you anyway, so it's like... Oh, no, the DEF doesn't work, so... <laughs> kind of low on DEF now. It freezes up pretty quickly in winter. Yeah, DEF fails a lot in the winter. They got warm enough briefly yesterday that the truck wouldn't idle by itself. So yeah. Shutting down, so. Got fairly warm. It was plus eight yesterday. Like ice, I'm actually enjoying it. Yesterday, I wasn't enjoying much. I, there's no no such thing as cruise control. Well, you were avoiding some trees yesterday too. Yeah, there was trees falling over, and it looked like some cars had just slammed into those trees and moved them sort of off the road. But they were they were still sticking it onto the road. I'm like, whoop, go around them. Some people probably found them accidentally. Yeah, or seen three down trees. One of them had been pulled all the way out off the road, but two of them were still part way on the road. Spirit Lake is beside us here. You don't really get to see the lake from the road. If you look through the trees, you might get a glimpse of it, but not really. Um, but it looks like a nice, decent sized lake. Highway 54 turns off over here. We continue on Highway 41. So we were on both highways till now. Pretty bumpy road today. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's that freezing and thawing, freezing and thawing, yeah. making the roads bumpy. <coughs> parts of the roads have expanded and parts have not. Can I get a cough drop? I'm sure there's a piece. Thanks. I forgot to look if we have more of them or not. 
you will never train me to say please. That's just not something that I'm trainable in. I'm not trainable. I think it did for Am I trainable? Oh yeah. Wrong answer. <laughs> there was a uh, big full size van there, four wheel drive. That was a camper van. And they had put in big push bars on the front and a cage all the way around. They definitely do four-wheel drive off, off-roading yeah. camping. And I kind of like that idea. I just want it a little bigger. So having a big pickup with the biggest camper in the back you can make. We'll see. We'll see. No, we haven't looked at campers yet. When is the big RV show in the summer? Spring? Um, April, I believe. April? We should definitely go to that. Yeah, I definitely want to. I know there's another one, I think, in the Lower Mainland River. I think. I'll have to look up the dates. Yeah, again. if there is, we'll, I definitely want to go. I don't know if we're on vacation or not. It might be right now as we mm. get back. Yeah. Try to look it up tonight and add it to our calendar so at least it comes up on that. That's so unique. What's that? Having a family dollar and a dollar tree in the same building? Family dollar and dollar tree in the same building. <laughs> I wonder if they're the same company. I don't know. It's weird. We don't have Family Dollar in Canada, but I'm familiar with it. Bumping and bouncing around. At least you guys have the cameras that stabilize the image so you guys don't pop around like we are.
shirt and a thong up. Are we? I think the windows are shirt and a thong up or are they just dirty? They're dirty. I'm getting a little bit of road grime every single time a car drives by. Sorry, ceiling cam, you stay in the grime. That's rude. Same with the uh, passenger cam, there's some line. That must be water squeaks inside the windshield. No, we tried that before. I can't clean them. They have to be inside. We'll have to use a cleaner. <coughs> yeah, they have to be inside. I know they should be, but they don't come off when I clean them. get some Windex in the back. Maybe keep it up front and just give it a little spurt in the morning. It's when the condensation builds up inside, you get these streaks inside the window. so much sugar in them. Yeah, the ones at home I bought were no sugar added. And that's like the only ones left in the store. It's been hard to find cough shots. Yeah, definitely a shortage in that. I was reading people couldn't find Dayquil and Nyquil so they had to cross the border. They simply couldn't find any. The church on the sign. They have a, I was trying to guilt trip people. Yeah, I noticed that. 
says, we missed you last year. Hope to see you this next year. <laughs> Good luck. Have you got a guild trip people to come to church? You're not you're not doing church right. Well, 
if the paperwork was where I put it originally, it would have been fine. But the forklift driver kept asking to see it. And I had to keep going through the back, grabbing the paperwork. Like, how often do you need to see the paperwork? Slow down in town, I should have washed the windows there. Would have done better there. You have a chance in five minutes. Yeah, we'll go through uh, Old Town and uh, Newport and then we'll call it a day. Hammer down northbound and see if we can deliver this load. If we don't spin out, we'll deliver today. If we spin out, we won't. At least you didn't have to torque bit. That makes it quicker. Yeah. yeah, no tarp. So the wood pallets, usually we have to tarp it if it's going to be more than one day. Not because of moisture or weather or road grime. Birds. No. The reason we have to tarp wood pallets is birds. Apparently, Birds punch holes in these pallets and like the wood pallets in there. I don't know why, what, what is up with the sawdust that birds like, but well, it's wood pallets. Sawdust pressurized into wood pallets. No glue, no, it's just sawdust. Simple sawdust, really pressurized. Something that birds like about them and punch a whole bunch of holes in the top of them. That's the only reason we have to tarp these things. That's good thing. Yes, there's a new rattle back there. It's a printer, a whole bunch of Rattles. Jesus, bring a second towel. 
wrap the printer in a whole bunch. We have that black towel. We should just use that. It's not like having a rattle like that behind you and not being able to get to it. Welcome to Old Town. I was at a popo sitting there waiting for us to make sure we slow down. Yeah, I'm in the seat. It's all good. Okay. Idaho popo. You might have to explain to work while you have to buy a new printer. So. You have to buy ink for it. Yeah, I notice it's starting to get purplish. The tone of it. Yeah. You just have to remember what one you need to buy. Yeah, we need to open it up and take a picture of it. Buy some ink. Keep the receipt because I get my money back for the ink. Sucko pays for Okay, so I do want to swing by Salmo and fuel up there. That's a good idea. So and get the, because uh, we're running low on the, uh, So I can use the washroom there. Entering old town. Maybe you can hand in paperwork while I fuel up. Well, you know how to talk to her. Oh, we can't even read it. Unreadable message. Well, then why didn't you even bother notifying us? Every time you send me the talk to our dispatcher, I, I just disappear on you. That's okay. Well, no, but she's sick right now, so I won't hang around. You don't even have to go in to drop off the paper. We're just in the box and put the paperwork in the box. I don't know where this box is that you talk about. To explain it to you. Yeah. That's a Pacific Prime nut in the normal colors. I don't know what to think of it. So we are on, the, this road is the border of Idaho and Washington. So I guess that we're in the central lane. We are half in Idaho, half, Idaho, half in Washington. Celsius, but the roads are wet. Oh, I should clean, clean the windows. I'm curious enough to log in on your phone. For what? For the message. What the message is. This is probably something new with what we're doing next, so. one that Nathan sent to you. I'll have to tell you about that one. Oh, is that entry number? Entry number? Yeah. Okay. Not as exciting. Not really exciting. It's good to know that our paperwork will clear though. Well, anyway guys, it's been another fun drive. This is wet, right? Not, not icy. Should I lock up the lockers? It's wet. I should be okay.
make it up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate all the comments. Every everything you guys do to help support me. Really, really appreciate it. I love reading all the comments and responding to most of them. At least responding to every person. If you leave multiple comments, love the multiple comments, keep them coming. But uh, I'll respond to every person. So thank you for those. The more comments we get down below, the more YouTube thinks that this is a good video and the more YouTube will suggest this video to the subscribers. Not even just to the general word, world. If YouTube doesn't, YouTube doesn't send my videos to all the subscribers unless the video gets a bunch of comments and likes and watches. <coughs> Excuse me. So anytime you get me a couple extra comments, the more the more you leave, the more other people get to watch. That's a bag of something. So make sure you straddle that. So thank you for all that. Really, really appreciate it. We are out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning and see what what the plan is. Either way, we're going home. I can tell you that. We're going home. We are out of here. You guys rock. Adios. <laughs>